On Monday, I started off my day with some sorriso and papas for breakfast. This is the vegan version of chorizo and it honestly tastes the same and has way less grease. Shout out to my sister for putting me on this. I admit it looks kind of gross at first, but if you know, you know. <laughs> it's really good and I like to eat mine with a side of some warmed up tortillas. For a snack today, I'm gonna to be having some cucumber with lemon. Sometimes I like to add tajin, but today I'm just in the mood for some plain lemon and salt. And I especially love when they're sliced super thin. Cucumba. <laughs> Cucumba. And my favorite part about this is in the end when there's no more cucumber, it's all lemon juice. I told you, I love lime. For lunch that day, I decided to make the viral feta cheese and cherry tomato pasta that was going around on TikTok. But instead of cheese, I made this blend of tofu and spices and it complements it perfectly. I added some oil to my tomatoes and placed the tofu cheese in the center. I love mushrooms, so I also added that to my pasta as well as some fresh garlic, of course. And after it baked in the oven for 40 minutes, I added in my pasta and some fresh spinach and it was a hit. Everyone in my family loved it. It was so creamy and flavorful with a hint of spice to it. So if you're looking for a new meal to make, I highly recommend making this. I had it for lunch and dinner that night, and I also decided to make some homemade garlic bread to enjoy with the pasta as well. Tuesday morning, I wanted to make these crispy breakfast potatoes. So here I'm just slicing it down the middle to get this crisscross action going here. Then I fried them in some oil until they were nice and crispy, and I also made some avocado toast to go along with it as well. The potatoes turned out amazing. They were so garlicky and crispy, and I even made this little dipping sauce to go along with it as well, and ugh, it was so good. 10 out of 10. Good afternoon, can I get started for you? Hi, can I have a grande matcha latte with oat milk and two pumps of chai? Okay, so I just ordered this um, TikTok drink that is going around. Well, it's been going around for a little bit. I'm a little late to the trend, but it's a matcha latte with oat milk and two pumps of chai, and supposedly it tastes like the moon herself. I have, don't have anything to compare it to, but I love matcha and I love chai, so I figured that I would like it, so we're gonna try it. It tastes good. I don't know if it's giving me moon vibes, but <laughs> it tastes really good. I do like it and it is good, but I think it's a little bit overhyped. It is really good though. For lunch that day, I had some leftover consomme from the queso tacos that I made a few days before. So I wanted to finish the leftovers and I made some jackfruit quesadilla tacos. If you wanna try these out for yourself, I recently uploaded a full recipe video on my YouTube channel, so check it out. For dinner that night, I was craving a burger, so I cooked these Beyond Meat patties. These are my new obsession. They taste amazing and could fool any meat lover. I also baked some waffle fries to caramelize the onions and topped it with some tomato, lettuce, mayo, and ketchup. I also had some of this ranch on the side to dip my fries in. I highly recommend you try out these patties. They're so delicious and full of protein. Wednesday morning, I made myself a breakfast sandwich with some scrambled just egg and avocado on toast. Very simple, very delicious. For lunch, I was in the mood for some enchiladas, so I made these jackfruit enchiladas verdes and topped them with avocado and sour cream. Later, I snacked on some barbecue chips. And for dinner, I made a vegetable stir fry with broccoli, bell pepper, mushroom, and onion, and I served it with a side of white rice. Later that night, we watched this movie, so of course I made my favorite movie snack, which is popcorn and jalapenos. I was not in the mood to cook anything this morning, so I just had some ramen. Some days I just don't wanna cook, and that's okay too. A little later, I had this bean and rice burrito and I used some Del Taco hot sauce to hold me over while I made lunch and dinner. Any guesses on what I'm making? 
Well, if you guess pozole, you would be correct. I know it looks like I used chicken or pork, but no, my friends, this is 100% vegan, made from jackfruit, and it tastes incredible. I served it with onion, avocado, and lime, and drank a small can of Dr. Pepper. Fun fact, Dr. Pepper is vegan. <laughs> Just before my workout, I decided to have a smoothie bowl with granola, and later I had some leftover pozole, of course. Sadly, we finished the pozole pretty fast, so later as a snack, I had some spicy kimchi ramen, and for dinner, I made grilled cheese and tomato soup. One of my favorites, definitely a classic staple in this household. <laughs> Saturday morning, I made chilaquiles for the family and I had a smoothie bowl after my workout. For lunch, I decided to make some sopa de conchas and I also served it with a side of black beans for extra protein. A little later, I had some mango passion fruit kombucha while I caught up on some work. And for dinner, I made some soy riso tacos with beans and cabbage. Sunday morning, I wanted to try this green smoothie that everyone's been talking about, so I threw some spinach, celery, cucumber, and green apple in a blender. Uh, let's just say I wasn't a big fan of this. Later on, I snacked on this Belvita cookie. These are really good and provide a lot of energy. And after that, I started to think about what I was going to make for lunch. I had everything I needed to make pasta, and then I remembered that I had these vegan chicken nuggets in my freezer. And the idea just came to me to make Cajun pasta topped with these nuggets, and it'll be like pasta with breaded chicken. Let's find out. So I decided to put my theory to the test and began making my pasta. Before I knew it, I had plated the most beautiful bowl of pasta. And yes, it was bussin'. I randomly found these chips at Walmart from the same brand that makes takis, so I had to try them out. I love spicy chips, so I tried the fuego ones first. They were sort of like takis, but in a Lay's form, and they were super, super lemony. They were honestly a little bit much for me, like I still haven't finished them, they're in my pantry as we speak. So I gave them like a 5 out of 10, but the jalapeno chips were pretty good. I gave those like a 7 out of 10. So that was everything that I ate last week. I know to some people it might look like a lot of cooking, but I found that cooking is my love language. I cook for myself because it's healthier, I can control what goes in my food, and because I genuinely love to cook. So hopefully you got some new food ideas and inspiration out of this video. Let me know in the comments down below which one you would wanna try or see a recipe of next. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. As always, I love you very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.